Hey y'all, welcome back to Mark III Firearms. Today, we're checking out one of my personal builds. This is a 300 Blackout SBR, as you can see. Um, one of my personal favorite rifles. And we're gonna give you a quick little walkthrough of all the little parts and pieces that make this thing up. That way, if you wanna go find them on the internet and build your own, you can. This is my idea of pretty much a perfect SBR in an AR variant with 300 Blackout. It might be a little overbuilt, it might have, you know, a few too many things on it, but hey, it's fun. We'll go ahead and start off at the back. We got the LWRC Ultra Compact Stock. Moving into the Magpul uh, sling attachment. This is their swivel sling attachment. Uh, when it first came out, I thought it was really cool. I know there's a lot more cool ones out now. I'll probably end up switching that up soon, actually. Magpul MOE grip. This is their smaller version. Doesn't have the big palm swell, if you will. And the Battle Arms 45 degree safety selector. Pretty cool. Down here we got the AR Gold Trigger, it's been reheat treated so it has a bronze and a blue contrast now rather than being gold, but the AR Gold Triggers guys, these things are awesome. Um, as you can see if you're into the AR 300 Blackout world, the Honey Badger is coming out pretty soon. Actually I think it is already out in some circles, um, but they do the flat AR Gold Trigger, this is their curved one, but AR Golds are just amazing. They are well worth the price, I promise. k and anti-rotating anti pins. Let's see here. I'm not sure the name of the company that does the extended mag release here, but it's awesome. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, the bad lever, you can see peeking out. We'll flip it around and show you the other side in a second. Lancer clear mags, they always set off that 300 blackout. Really nice. And you can see here, this is a, a ready mag. So a ready mag, there's a company that does the ready mod, which they skeletonize it, and I've taken it even to the, a further degree, which you'll see once I flip it around. Uh, Noveski pins, as you can see, pretty cool. And this upper is the JP Enterprises side charger. It is not cheap, but it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, as far as the, the upper goes, the bolt operating system here, the FMOS, is the full mass operating system from JP. If you guys have an upper and you just want to make it slicker than snot, put one of these in there. These things are just awesome. You don't have to get the full upper, but their, uh, their bolt carrier system is just amazing, guys. Uh, Knight's Armament 45 degree flip ups. These are really cool because these are the originals that actually fit down inside the rails. They've been discontinued and uh, I guess I guess they just beefed them up and made them a little bit bigger but I like how you know low profile these guys sit. That's the front and rear. There we go. Pretty cool. I like these a lot. The red dot this is the Aimpoint Comp M4S, so it has the battery compartment lower, which is really nice. It's not sticking all the way up here like uh, the originals. And that's made it up to an arms uh, quick detach mount, which I'll show you on the other side a little bit better in a moment. Moving our way up, we got the Knight's Armament Rail. This is their key mod, one of the first ones that came out. And the battle, <laughs> the battle comp at the end. I believe they call this one the BABC, the big ass pedal comp, which is kind of funny. But that's for the 30 cal. Of course this is 300 blackout. Yeah, she is beautiful. Some might say a little overbuilt and maybe a little bit too much stuff, but I like it. It is definitely a heavy gun, guys. I'm not going to lie about that. She's heavy. Let's go ahead and flip her around. Let's check out the other side. Okay. Moving our way down. Yeah, you can see those 45 degree flip up night sights, I mean, you can see the mount here, but you really can't even see the sight from the other side. I mean, there is just starting to peek over. I just love how low profile those things are. There's your ready mod or ready mag that's been skeletonized and then taken down even further. I can't remember the company who was doing the ready mod. Maybe it was Blue Force Gear, actually. Something like that. But I've completely taken the top cap off. That way I can grab the side charger here and it moves, you know, across the top of the magazine. I can clear it without a scratching. Pretty cool. Your bad lever, your battery assist device. That blue trigger, the AR Gold just pops, man. Look at that. So yeah, guys, if you've got an AR Gold trigger and you want me to reheat treat it for you, I can do that. Not a problem. The side charger rail. And you can still utilize your traditional side or your traditional uh, charging handle up top back here. I'll show all that in a second.
And there's your arms, quick detach mount for the um, for the comp M4S for main point. What else? What else? I think that's pretty much about it. I mean, there's some cool internal stuff, but pretty much from the outside, this is what you get. So there you go. Reseracoded, completely skeletonized, ready mag. Pretty cool. Go ahead and show you all how this guy charges real quick. We'll make sure she's clear. And she is. So as you can see, up top, you can still utilize your JP charging handle. And then, you got your side charger here. And it's spring-loaded, so when you let it go, it just flies back forward. Pretty cool, guys. And that trigger from AR, gold is just unmatched. I love these things. But anyways, y'all, as always, questions, comments, concerns, leave them. And you know I will answer accordingly. God, she's a beauty. Definitely had to document this one. It's been a long time coming. Flip her around one more time for you guys. I mean, I'm definitely much more the AK fan, if you will. I'm definitely a big AK collector, but you know, I love guns. Who doesn't? I can appreciate them all. And if you can't, then you just don't get it, I think. <laughs> we can argue about which one's better and which one can do what, but really guys, we all love guns. That's all that matters. Okay, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time.